When you search the web through Google, your results contain websites, news stories, opinions, media, and the occasional citation for a magazine article or a popular book. This can be a great way to start the research process, but for college-level work, you'll need to dig a little deeper and find academic sources. Google Scholar searches academic repositories and periodical indexes to connect you with books, journal articles, dissertations, and patents. Google Scholar is one of the most comprehensive indexes of research articles and scholarly books. You may have noticed that there aren't as many search options, but it has some helpful tools to save time and expand your literature search. Let's say you found a great research article on your topic in a library database. You can copy and paste the title of the article in Google Scholar. Look for the quote icon to generate a citation. Citation generators may be missing some information, like the DOI. Be sure to check the citation with a style manual or online guide. You can also find more recent studies that have cited this article using the Cited By link. Just like when a research article includes their citations in a reference list, you can find books and articles that have cited your original article. Some sources may have the linked full text or PDF, but articles in Google Scholar aren't always freely available through the publisher's site. You can use Google's book search to browse or search through the contents of millions of popular and scholarly materials. This is a great way to explore books you may want to use for your research. PubMed is a freely available resource through the NIH, or the National Institutes of Health, and it's a great place to find research articles for health, science, and psychology research. Not all articles are freely available to read. Try out a search using keywords related to your topic, for example, depression and sleep apnea. Using quotation marks around specific phrases can help you narrow your search to that exact phrase. In PubMed, you can also narrow your results using filters like publication date, and article type. If you don't see a filter you want to use, click on the Additional Filters button and select the filters you want to add on the side. You can also filter by language and population age. On the abstract page, you'll see a summary and information about the article, including the name of the journal where it was published and if the research was grant funded. Most articles in PubMed are from peer-reviewed journals, but you can always verify for yourself. Look for the full text links on the right to download and save the full article. The Find It at CSUDH Lib button will redirect you to OneSearch and another database where we have the article. On the abstract page, you can also find similar and cited by articles to find more recent sources. PubMed also includes MeSH terms. Medical subject headings are control tags that describe what an article is about, regardless of what terms or keywords are used in the source. They're also broken down by subcategories. For example, you could search for everything in PubMed about therapies for depression or complications of obstructive sleep apnea. You can add multiple MeSH terms and keywords to expand your search in PubMed. The IEEE Explore Digital Library. Once you arrive at the IEEE Explore Digital Library simple search page, click Advanced Search. Now let's say we're interested in learning more about solar cells and farming. In the first field, we'll type in solar cells. Then, in the next field, we'll type in agriculture. You'll notice that there is a drop-down menu next to each search field. When we search the database, we're not only searching the text of the items stored in the databases, we're also searching the records that have been created for each of these items. The drop-down menu allows us to target our search to a specific portion of each record. For instance, if we selected Document Title for the first field, we'd only receive results in which Solar Cells was part of the title of the article. For now, however, we'll start off with a broad search and narrow as we go. If you're interested in learning more about how to develop and structure your keywords for searching, click the link in the description below. As we scroll down the page, you will see that you also have the option of narrowing your search by publication date. There are two ways to use this feature. 
first, you can specify a date range by dragging the date slider. Or, you can type in your range in the fields below the slider. In this case, we'll look for items published within the last five years. Then, we'll click Search. At the top of the list, we're able to view the number of results returned. As we scroll down our list of results, you'll notice that there's a lock icon beside each article. In some cases, the locks are red. This means that the item is not available in full text because it is not part of the package to which Google Library subscribes. You'll also notice that there may be green unlocked lock icons. This means that the item is either open access or part of the package to which Google Library subscribes. If you would like to refine your search further, you can use the filter options to your left. We can also filter by content type. In this case, we have the option of choosing between articles from journals and proceedings from conferences. Let's limit by journals. Now we have fewer results. But let's say we want to go back to the previous search and limit in a different way. We can undo the filters we apply by going to the top of the page to the Filters Applied area. To undo the Journals filter, we'll just click the little X next to Journals. Now we're back to the same number of results we had prior to limiting to journals. As you can see, we still have a number of filters we can work with, including the ability to limit results by a single year or a range of years, author, affiliation of author, the publication in which the articles or proceedings were published, the publisher, the location of the conference for which proceedings were generated, and, perhaps most helpful, index terms. Items in IEEE are indexed under terms that tell us what a particular article or conference proceeding is about. When we select a term from the list in this filter, our result will automatically limit our results to only those materials which are indexed under the term we have selected. Let's select one. When we're ready to read an article in our result list, we'll just click the title. This will take you to the record for the item where you'll be able to read the abstract, generate citation information, and download the PDF if available. Thank you for watching.